what's good water tribe i'm gonna do a little quick five to seven minute reading for you guys now i already don't try to do this and i had to redo it and then i just heard do over so there may be something that you need to do over you're wanting to do over i'm here and give it a second chance this could be a person asking you for a second chance but what I was stating in the last video is, if you're feminine and you've been having really heavy um, period cramps, like your last period was unusual to the ones you usually usually have, this period may have lasted a little bit longer. This period may have had stronger cramps or just the, the menstrual cycle was just a little bit heavier. Um, you're going through some sort of change. I'm hearing wisdom change. I don't know exactly what. I feel like you're getting some sort of boost. Boost in wisdom. This could be spiritual wisdom. But I have beauty here. So you may be someone that loves nature or there's a need for you to get into nature. I also am picking up an energy on a makeup artist. I'm even hearing like drag. Somebody may be into drag. Then I got trust. And I'm hearing trust the process. I feel like I'm here wishing upon a star. I feel like there's something that you're doing, something that you're wishing upon. And there's a need for you to be patient when it comes to this. Yeah, patience is virtue is what I'm hearing. There's a need for you to be patient because spirit is taking you through some sort of spiritual transformation at this time. And if he was to put all that weight on you overnight, you probably would feel very exhausted um you probably would be feeling i want to say anxiety but it's like my mouth won't even talk you see what i'm saying like yeah that card was just out it's something about your will i'm hearing written in the stars there's something that you're supposed to be doing here i don't gotta take no more well after these two that just fell out okay And I got pleasure at the bottom of the deck. But something about the beauty industry, I'm hearing, I'm finna pop out. I feel like whatever this is that you're doing, you do it better than anybody. Or this is just how you feel. And this is the reason why you're being catapulted where you're going. Because you the shit at what you do. I feel like whatever this is you're doing, you make a lot of people happy. I don't know why I'm seeing like cosmetology, somebody who do hair. You may have even been seeing um, butterflies lately. Um, your spouse or you could be buying yourself flowers. Well, your spouse could be buying you flowers or you could be buying yourself flowers at this time. And then I got trust. So like I was saying, you're going through some sort of transformation. You're in this egg here. Y'all know egg have, have yolk in it, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you f you feel stuck, but you're in a period of gestation. Yeah, something's definitely about to change. I saw the change card earlier in five equal change. Three plus two is five. You may even be 32 or 23. Or something about three is very prevalent here. You may have even been seeing 333. Three, three. Something about nature is definitely very prevalent as well. You may live in Florida or somewhere where water is, where ducks can be. Like I'm seeing like a pond with ducks. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who likes to go outside at night as well. Something about the night air, the night sky. It's like you can hear voices. Or it's like... You get your answers by going outside at night, looking at the moon, if you can find it, or just something about at night. Then I got Will here. You may be dealing with somebody named Will. This could be your father's name. Or this could be your last name. But something about your will. I'm hearing like it's written in the stars. You got release, and then you got unexpected. Let me get some tarot... Bingo. Let's see what's going on. I got Hebrew gods here. So I definitely feel like you are a very high vibrational being. You may not be satisfied with something. 
I'm hearing you're not satisfied with life. There's a need for you to be grateful and release this tension that you have. Seven plus two is nine. So this is definitely coming to the end of a cycle. Yeah, you're definitely going through a transformation. You see how these butterflies are coming? It, it appears that they're either coming out of her chest or going inside her chest. And y'all know butterflies represent transformation. And then you got unexpected. And I just heard unexpected love. Yeah, you definitely may have some unexpected love here. With this three of swords, this speaks to heartbreak, anguish. I don't know why I just heard mental clarity. You need mental clarity because you got the eight of swords and the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Something about mental clarity. There's a need for you to get more answers on something. I feel like you're seeking answers on something. Spirit is saying that there's a need for you to listen to your intuitions because the answers are right in your face. I feel like you're ignoring them. Yeah, something about sowing seeds as well. The seven of... Okay. There's a need for you to isolate yourself. And look, the hermit card went, just literally flipped upside down in my hand. When I say isolate yourself, the hermit card means to be isolated. Right now, you may be in a... I just heard the public eye. You may be in the public eye. You may be somebody that loves to be seen. But I remember growing up, old people used to say women should be seen and not heard. But I think this should apply to everybody. Because the quieter you are, the more you can learn. The quieter your mind is, the more you can hear spirit speaking to you. You feel me? What else, spirit? And that's a nine in reverse. Then I got the four of pentacles. So I definitely feel like you're holding on to something that you need to let go. You're probably holding on to the need of having people around. I feel like you're losing money with these people around as well. Something about your blessings being halted. I'm getting tower card energy. Like something is definitely going to happen that's unexpected. That's going to shake up like your foundation for you to start over if this ain't already happened yeah early i was saying listen to your intuition and i got the high priestess here at the bottom of the deck and then the ten of wands after i just said something is gonna change maybe even your living arrangements something about the foundation that you built on before is is coming it's crashing down because it was built off of faulty um on faulty grounds this may be something that you manipulated or somebody manipulated you into and it's put you and it's putting you in a state of stuckness. This could be a person that you're dealing with. This could even be your father. I got the king of wands here. That definitely means somebody is either a baby father or your father. This person may be a compulsive liar, a very controlling person. I got the magician here. The Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and Judgment. So, with the higher front. So, there's definitely something that needs to change or is about to change, whether you like it or not. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles. So, this instantly reminds me of somebody who may work at night or somebody who works really long hours. You may even do eight-hour shifts, but whatever job you're doing, it, it, it it's wearing you down. But I'm also getting energy of entrepreneurship as well. So for these, for when I was just first had started, and this was supposed to be a five to seven minute reading, I guess we're going to make it 10. I was talking about the beauty industry. So maybe you're a holistic healer. Like, even if you do do hair and makeup, you make people feel so good, not just with the way you transform them and how they look, but just the way they feel when they leave you. Like, people really be bragging on you, bro. Yeah, justice is going to be served if you're going through some type of court case. I got the sun card here. Exactly. Justice is definitely going to be served. And the seven of wands. And this is because you stuck up for yourself. Or if this has anything to do with what's going on in your life, I feel like you're strong. I feel like God got you. You're, you're definitely taken care of. I feel like this is happening to you so that way you can release everything and start fresh. 
like knew everything. Don't beat yourself up about climbing to the top. Look, because I feel like that's you. Everybody else falling, but you happen to get the and learn some type of strategy in order to get that fire. And the crazy part is you ain't scared to touch the fire. You know, this person look like she climbing back down because she didn't even know it was going to be too hot. Or uh, either they fighting. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what this car represent. Chaos anyways. But don't feel bad for climbing up to the top. Because everybody can't go with you. The emperor represents stability. The unk may be very prevalent to you as well. I don't know why I just heard Saturn and Venus. So you may want to check your chart and see what placements you have. You may have Aries in, in your Saturn or your Venus. I ain't trying to keep y'all too long. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Mm, bye.